It's always nice to be able to share a little easter egg, one of those nice little touches put into the game by developers. And thanks to a tip I received, credit going to Alanox in Coalition Org, in this video I'll be sharing details about the Tears of Fire painting, as well as a very messy rooftop in New Babbage. Those of you who watched Jacks McCleary on the second part of the 2951 IAE special may recognise this one. If you don't recognise my voice, I'm Farrister, and my channel is all about sharing videos like this, so if you're interested in following for this kind of Star Citizen video, you might consider subscribing to the channel. Wonderfully, this is a place you can actually visit yourself in-game as at patch 316. You'll need to head to New Babbage on Microtech in the Stanton system. You're then looking for a rooftop with the painted evidence of a Jax McCleary visit. One of the easiest ways to find it is to head from the spaceport to the Aspire Grand, that's the big skyscraper that dominates the New Babbage skyline. From there, turn slight right, or to an angle of 350 degrees, and head to the next building cluster. You should hopefully see the location on the way in. On the rooftop itself, aside from the messy splashes of paint, you'll find an easel with a painting on it. The painting looks like the Tears of Fire painting that was referenced in the Whitley's Guide special episode, although it's been vandalised somewhat with Jax's crude scrawlings. Oh, Jax. As this is Microtech, although it's a little cold, the atmosphere is breathable if you want to wear something comfortable. The painting itself features in-game as subscriber flair from way back in 2017, but also has a fairly detailed lore page on the Star Citizen website, which I've linked below. In a nutshell, the painting is supposed to be around 340 years old, and the original is much larger. The artwork, originally painted by Aaron Fring, is representative of the Second Tavarin War, and shows the Tavarin fleet burning up in the atmosphere of Elysium IV, but the painting is generally regarded as a beautiful sight to behold. Whether you see these cinematic videos as a beautiful sight to behold is down to you, but I regularly post up new location spotlight videos like this, which you're welcome to peruse. And if you enjoyed this video, please do press that like button. It's really helpful for me to know what you're enjoying watching. Or you could let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have some suggestions for places to showcase, please reach out. I'd love to hear about more places just like this. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and thanks again to Alanox and the team at Coalition Org for finding and sharing this spot.